2013-2014 Common Council to order. The clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mayor. Better to be called something positive and, and inspirational than something negative. Thank you. Would the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? Computer's running slow tonight. 14 present. Alderman Bourne and Alderman Van Akron are excused. Please stand and join me for the Pearl Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item is the approval of, of minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Don Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to council appointments. City attorney. <clears throat> Honorable members of the council, hereby I submit the following appointment for your consideration. Rebecca Clark to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired term of Vicki Hall, representative from environmental group whose term expires on 4-28-2014, signed by the mayor. Those appointments will lie over. Uh, next is a proclamation. City of Sheboygan Proclamation. Whereas maintaining a strong heart is a key to a long and healthy life, and the number one killer of American men and women is cardiovascular disease and is responsible for one out of every four deaths in the United States. And whereas, while anyone can develop a heart disease, those with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and those who smoke it are at greater risk. Whereas risk factors like diabetes, obesity, poor diet, physical inactivity, excess alcohol use can also increase the likelihood of developing heart disease. And whereas by adopting a few healthy health, uh, habits, getting regular exercise, not smoking, eating diets rich in fruits and vegetables and low in salt, saturated fat and cholesterol, each of us can reduce that, our own risk. Whereas February has been declared American Heart Month, we encourage all Americans to fight against heart disease and to learn more about how to prevent it. I'm Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of Sheboygan, to hear our by proclaim February is the American Heart Association's Women and Health Month, Heart Health Month. Uh, I'd like to have um, Ellen uh, Jezrika come up here. She's uh, been working on this campaign. I'd like to present her with this proclamation and give her a chance to uh, give us any additional Thank words you. about the effort. Thank you. Um, I just, I try to do this every year. It seems like the word is getting out a little bit more. Heart disease is the number one killer of women right now. One in three, so how many women are in here? It's kind of a scary thought. Um, I was 41 years old when I was in heart failure, so it can happen to anybody. I didn't have any family history. I had um, an excellent um, cholesterol, I had an excellent blood pressure, and my weight was good. So it can happen to anybody. Thank you so much, I appreciate this, and have a good night. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next, we'll go on to the public forum. Uh, yes, we have one this evening. Colin Catchell, could you please come up, Colin? And Colin, can I get your home address, please? Uh, 321 Bluff Avenue. I'm going to keep it positive tonight. I just wanted to thank Public Works for keeping the heat on in the armory. Um, we now know that the pipes and the infrastructure, the plumbing will not go bad. That uh, We want to really put out our thanks for that. That's very important. 
I'm also here to say that we went through with the RFP process <coughs> yesterday to see the condition of the building. We were happy with the overall bones of the structure of the building, but uh, we can tell that it's been completely neglected and um, for, for many years, and you know it would be an effort to clean it up quite a bit. As we were there even, um, you can look on our website, um, if you just type in Sheboygan Armor, you can see the pictures, so we have recent updated pictures. Um, even when we were there, there was trucks driving through, it was snow covered on, and we were actually squeegeeing the water off the basketball floor. So I've proposed tonight I have a request. I know you're going in a closed session. Maybe you can vote on it. I believe that the mayor's hands aren't tied. I believe there's still a possibility that you didn't vote actually as a council on the RFP process to not let anyone in in the short term. At least allow us to get in there to start fixing, adapting it, cleaning it up, provide us with a nice facility, even if it's for till the October 31st, if you just decide to go with another option. So I'll read our request here. Uh, we are asking that the Common Council give the Armory Foundation a short term rent lease agreement from Glassic's vacancy through October 31st. Allow us to start improving the appearance of this iconic building instead of allowing it to be neglected for another year. If another proposal plans on using the auditorium, they would be coming forward. If the city needs to use the building for the RFP, RFP process, it can be vacated. Our volunteers are lined up and would like to start improving the condition of this building and the landscape, even if it is to be sold, raised, or used for boat storage. The quality of life in Sheboygan can increase for at least seven months and maybe another 100 years. We could fail or the city might choose another direction. Citizens can then be given the opportunity to drive by new condos, boat storage, or an empty lot thereafter. A short-term lease from Glassic's vacancy will also be a positive impact to our community, downtown business, and tourism. We already poured millions in concrete, try to build the armor again for under 20 million. We all know this, but as realists understand that when November rolls, and down, rolls around, the council will likely vote unanimously for what city planners decide. This seems to be inevitable. If someone does come along with similar aspirations and wants to save it as a venue, we will be behind them 100%. For now, allow the Sheboygan Armory Auditorium to go peacefully. It can be enjoyed one last time. We believe the council owes it to the armory and the people who live in Sheboygan. Don't let this opportunity go to waste. You have nothing to lose. Thanks. And I have the attached lease agreement that we've written up legal document for the clerks. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, Colin. That would be it for this evening. Thank you. Next is mayor's announcements. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for the, uh, the meeting change and um, all your indulgence in, uh, in moving uh, your attendance here from Monday to Wednesday night. Um, I'd also like to just give the community a notice that um, recently with a lot of the, the snow events, we've had to um, change garbage pickups several times. Uh, we're getting a lot of calls at uh, DPW asking uh, what the situation is. So we have established a garbage hotline. In addition, we put out press releases and have it on our website. But the garbage hotline number is 459-6471. Then we'll go on to the consent agenda. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs and accept and adopt all reports of committee. Second. Thank you for that motion and second on the consent agenda. Those items are before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on the consent agenda? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to communications. Item 3.1 is a communication from Alderman Lewandowski requesting that the City County Shared Services install life rings on, on the piers. That would be referred to the City County Shared Services Committee. Uh, number four is reports <coughs> of officers. All those documents, 4.1 through 4.10, will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 5.1 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2014 budget, establishing appropriation for purchase scheduling software for Sheboygan, uh, for rather Shebo uh, Shoreline Metro Connection. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First, I'd uh, uh, move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion on suspension. You want a voice vote? Sure. All those in favor of suspension, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, suspension is uh, okay. Good, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? 
Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just real quickly, um, the reason for this um, was there was funds that weren't transferred over in to, um, into the 2014 budget for the software. Um, we got the software, now the bill is due. Um, so it's just to pay the software that we already appropriated money for. Thank you for that explanation. Any other discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is a resolution by Alderman Carlson authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a contract for scheduling software for Sheboygan Metro Connection. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mayor. I move to uh, suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion. All those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes under suspension. I move to put the resolution on Potomac's passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The motion is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. <clears throat> Item 5.3 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2014 budget to establish the appropriation for purchase of land in the, in the industrial park. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, move to suspend the rules. Second. All those uh, in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, under suspension, Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Uh, we have a motion in support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 14 ayes. Motion passes. Uh, next item on the agenda is 5.4, which is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing the Mayor's International Committee to enter into contracts as necessary to stage the performance of the UW Badger Band at the Stephanie H. Weil Center on April 14th of 2014. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you. All those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Under suspension. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 14 ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.5 and 5.6 will be referred to various committees. Uh, item 6 is reports of committees. Item 6.1 is an RC by law and licensing recommending denying the beverage operator's license 0262 based on his failure to accurately reveal all the convictions on the applications, his record of violations re related to the license activity, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Is moved and seconded under discussion. Is Jerry Volker here this evening? He is not here. Um, he was called to our meeting two different times and he did not show either time. Okay, thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll at 6.1? <clears throat> 14 ayes. Item 6. Point, motion passes. Item 6.2 is an RC by salary and grievances recommending and adopting the revised city compensation program for non-represented employees. Alderman Donahue. I move that the resolution be put on its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 14 ayes. Motion passes. Item 6.3 will lie over to our next meeting. Item number seven, matters laid over. Item 7.1 is Resolution number 131 of 1314 by Alderman Carlson Bellinger Dassler authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2014 budget to establish an appropriation for the purchase of land on New Jersey Avenue. Alderman Hammond. Move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's moved and second to put the uh, resolution upon its passage. Is there any discussion on that motion? Will the clerk please call the roll? 14 ayes. Motion passes. 
Other, other matters? City Attorney Steve McLean. Uh, 8.1 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. I go to the Law and Licensing Committee. 8.2 is an RO by the Director of Planning and Development submitting a communication from Henry Young and Deb Beyer on behalf of the Sheboygan River Valley Conservancy and their request to discuss and work toward protecting the former <coughs> sugar property as a conservancy to benefit our quality of life and local environment in Sheboygan. That'll be referred to Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. 8.3 is a communication from older person Bellinger on behalf of his constituent Michael Thomas regarding issues he's having with parking near his home near North High School. Uh, that'll be referred to Public Protection and Safety. 8.4 is a resolution consenting to the assignment of the tenant's interest in the operating lease with respect to the Blue Harbor Convention Center improvements. That'll be referred to the Finance Committee. 8.4. Next item on the agenda is a closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in the closed session of the exemption provided in section 19.851E Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating in regards to the contract for the use of Wildwood softball complex where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. It's been moved and seconded to go into closed session. Would the clerk please call the roll on closed session? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. We'll take a five minute recess and reconvene in closed session. Uh, anybody in the gallery who'd like to stay around for the, uh, the rest of the meeting, I'd invite you to go into the third floor conference room at the end of the hall down here and you can have some seats there until we reconvene. Okay, we're back in open session. Alderman Heidemann. I make a motion to pass the resolution uh, before us as read by uh, the city clerk. Second. Moved and seconded. Will the city clerk please read that resolution? I will. <clears throat> okay. A resolution terminating the existing agreement between the Sheboygan Softball Association and the city of Sheboygan relating to the use of the city's Wildwood Softball Complex and authorizing the appropriate city officials Okay. That's it. That's it. That's, that's the title. You want to read the uh, text? I Keep on proceeding. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, and authorizing appropriate. You want to talk to us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you say. Start over again. A resolution terminating the existing agreement between the Sheboygan Softball Association and the City of Sheboygan relating to use of the city's Wildwood Softball Complex. Whereas the city over the past three years has communicated to the SSA the need to change and work with the city on long-term solutions to an unsuitable program, unsustainable program, I'm sorry. This communication was verbal, face-to-face -face meetings, phone conversations, <coughs> formal letters and written proposed changes in agreements. And whereas the SSA has demonstrated a sustained failure to meet the requirement of continuing to contribute monies towards the improvement of city softball facilities as provided in paragraph one of the agreement. Specifically, based upon the profit and loss statements received from the SSA in the recent review of the SSA's financial records, the SSA has lost money in four of the last five years totaling $114,806.12 in losses while funding other non-softball specific causes. And whereas it has come to the city's attention that the federal tax exemptions for the SSA and the Sheboygan Softball Foundation, Inc., the foundation, were revoked by the IRS for failure to file a Form 990 series return or notice for three consecutive years. Per the IRS website, the revocation date was May 15th, 2011, thus no longer providing the SSA or foundation and IRC section 501c3 
tax-exempt status. And whereas the Sheboygan Softball Association has failed to provide proper management of softball operations as they have in the past, current SSA management lacks fiscal management and discipline to properly control revenues and expenses and appropriately, and appropriately save for capital reinvestment in softball facilities at the Wildwood Softball Complex. And whereas over the last three years, the SSA has failed to negotiate in good faith with the city and actively participate in genuine discussion regarding future improvements necessary to provide quality softball facil facilities for participants and spectators in an effort to avoid having to address necessary issues concerning the Wildwood Softball Complex. And whereas the SSA has violated both the letter and spirit of paragraph 2.B period of the agreement, which provides that the SSA will not knowingly discriminate, discriminate against any organized softball club or clubs within the city in such a manner as to place upon such club or clubs conditions or costs that are inconsistent with common council approved rules, regulations, and fee schedules as would be in effect during the period of softball activities at the Wildwood, Wildwood Athletic Complex. Specifically, when Midlake Softball Organization sought to host a fundraising softball team tournament at the end of the 2013 season, September of 2013, the SSA attempted to prevent it and used threatening tactics to discourage any team or umpires from participating, including circulating and soliciting a non-compete agreement specifically naming the Midlake's Midlake Softball Organization. And whereas the SSA has violated the rules, regulations, and fee schedule, use of Wildwood Athletic Complex by allowing and receiving payment for use of the Wildwood Athletic Complex, complex for weekend tournaments without following proper procedures set forth in said rules and regulations, all in violation of paragraph 14 of the agreement. And whereas the SSA has failed to cause to be filed with the city proof of insurance as required by paragraph 8 of the agreement. Now, therefore be it resolved that the city of Sheboygan hereby terminates the existing agreement between the Sheboygan Softball Association and the city of Sheboygan relating to use of the city's Wildwood Softball Complex effective the date of this resolution. Thank you. Is there any discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for the resolution? Bellinger? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Dassler? Aye. Donahue? No. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Herman? Aye. Lassard? Aye. Lewandowski? Aye. Matichek? Aye. No. no. Pentaco? Aye. Thiel? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 12 ayes, 2 noes. Motion passes. Alderman Hammond? Move to adjourn. Second. Move and second to adjourn. Will the clerk call the roll for adjournment? We can do it all. Ayes. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.